ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm very pleased to be here today at the launch of Australia's celebration of the 1993 International Year of the World's Indigenous People. We non-Aboriginal Australians should perhaps remind ourselves that Australia once reached out for us. Didn't Australia provide opportunity and care for the dispossessed Irish? Did it not for the poor of Britain, the refugees from war and famine and persecution in the countries of Europe and Asia? If it isn't reasonable to say that if we can build a prosperous and remarkable harmonious multicultural society in Australia, surely we can find just solutions to the problems which beset the first Australians, the people to whom the most injustice has been done. And as I say, the starting point might be to recognise that the problem starts with us, the non-Aboriginal Australians. It begins, I think, with an act of recognition. Recognition that it was we who did the dispossessing. We took the traditional lands and smashed the traditional way of life. We brought the diseases and the alcohol. We committed the murders. We took the children from their mothers. We practiced discrimination and exclusion. It was our ignorance and our prejudice and our failure to imagine that these things could be done to us. With some noble exceptions, we failed to make the most basic human response and enter into their hearts and minds. We fail to ask, how would I feel if this was done to me? As a consequence, we fail to see that what we were doing degraded us all. But there's one thing today we cannot imagine. We cannot imagine that the descendants of people whose genius and resilience maintained a culture here through 50,000 years or more, through cataclysmic changes to the climate and the environment, and who then survived two centuries of dispossession and abuse, will be denied their place in the modern Australian nations. We can't imagine that. We cannot imagine that we'll fail. With the spirit that is here today, I'm confident that we won't fail. I'm confident we will succeed in this decade. Thank you very much for listening to me.
that the problem starts with us, but not Aboriginal Australians.